What happens to ice when you put it in water? It floats. Why? It's less dense than water. The buoyancy force applied is equal to the weight of the displaced liquid. What if the ice was more dense? It would sink and melt and the water level would rise. When the ice completely melts, its mass stays the same, but becomes more dense. It takes up less volume. So the melt water takes up only the space of the displaced water. Isostatic equilibrium is the balance of the forces causing the ice to float. The blue line represents the initial water level when the chunk of ice was placed in the water. Over time, the ice chunk has been melting and the water level has stayed the same. You are witnessing isostasy. So, if all the icebergs on Earth were to melt, the sea level would not change. Change would only occur if glacial and land ice were to melt. We are, of course, ignoring all other factors like thermal expansion. This video has been sped up 2,500%. Isostatic rebound happens when the buoyancy force is greater than the weight of the object and therefore causes the object to rise. For example, when mountains erode or glaciers melt, the lithosphere actually rises to reach isostatic equilibrium. This process is very slow. In fact, uplift caused by the ending of the last glacial period is still continuing. Isostasy was coined by Clarence Dutton, an American geologist. 